Hello again, guys. It's Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And today's uh, demonstration is going to be on a, a, a unit called a Deluxe 8. Uh, now, this model uh, does, not have a brand, does not have a brand name on it. And I'm going to turn off my phone here so that's not interrupting us. Okay, it's called a Deluxe 8, um, and I finally found out through looking at a bunch of old Radio Shack catalogs that this uh, model is made by Tenna, T-E-N-N-A, and was sold uh, at least in Radio Shack stores, uh, possibly among other places. Uh, this uh, basically is an all bells and whistles type of unit. It's an aftermarket. Uh, it's got an eject button. It has a fast forward. Of course, we've got our program change. For some stupid reason, it's got our motor on-off switch, which is useless if you're you know, because it doesn't have a line input, so there's no reason to have a uh, motor on out switch. But the most useful feature this unit has is a front panel head adjustment. Uh, you're probably uh, familiar with the 8-track and its little weird design inconsistency as well. Um, uh, head alignment is a big issue with 8-tracks, and this one has an actual front panel adjustment that you can use to fine-tune that head. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and pop a tape in this thing. Uh, my Temptations tape is currently on the blink, and I'm not sure what I can use and avoid copyright issues. I don't really feel like looking for my own music right now. So we're going to go for some Cathedral Quartet. Now this is, um, if anybody wants to come after me for copyright on this thing, I'll be glad to give them the, the three cents. So let's go ahead and pop her in, make sure everything works. Okay, we're going to change tracks a bunch of times. And you'll see this little indicator, you may be able to see it changing. Yeah, you can just barely see it. Let's go to our output level meters and make sure that both speakers are working and that the balance control is doing what it's supposed to and all that. Okay, I'm looking for a button. There we are. All righty. All right, work our balance control to the all the way left, all the way right, left, right. Naturally, there's a little bit less uh, recording level on the left side. Switch tracks. Okay, that's uh, between sounds at the moment. Okay, that's track one, program one, two, and now there's music on three again. Okay, we'll go back to our unit. And this is only an HX, but there's no radio, so there's not much to really demonstrate. Either works or it doesn't. And uh, we'll, I'll just show you what this front panel head adjustment does. Right now, I've got it adjusted pretty optimum, and we, as you can see, And you just adjust that for the loudest signal, but you want to make sure you're on the right track. If your alignment's really off, you can be an entire track off and still sound good. Okay, right now I've got the, uh, I, I have adjusted the, the, the fine tuning, the head fine tuner. And on this tape, with the black mark in the exact center, the head is perfectly adjusted for this tape. With another tape, it might be a little bit different. So real quick, let's just pop another tape in there. Hopefully another non-copyright issue tape. And now we'll see what the adjustment looks like on this tape. Okay, this tape pretty much agrees with the other one. Okay, we'll hit the fast spot real quick, which I don't recommend using. But just to show you that it actually works. All right, and then we're going to hit our eject button, and, it, and it's going to give us a tape. And there we go. Hit the eject button. And incidentally, uh, it's not necessary to use the eject button. You can just pull the tape out. That's perfectly fine. It won't hurt a thing. And now we've uh, proven that this unit is fully functional. She's ready to go back to the customer, which uh, offhand, I don't know who that customer is. I do apologize for that. It's not very good uh, preparation for a promotional video, I would imagine. But at any rate, uh, she's ready to go back to the customer, and I'm ready to get on to the next video. So let me see if I can find myself among this little mess of stuff here.
Ah, there I am. This is Barry with Barry's HVAC and Classic Car Radio Repair. Uh, naturally, if you have an HVAC, you, uh, either for home or for car use, in need of service, uh, you can uh, reach me directly at 928-533-9666. Um, I also do uh, c- a, a conversions on Classic Car AM radios. I can add FM, uh, Bluetooth, USB reader, aux input, all that cool stuff. Um, my website is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and listening. We'll see you next time.